Ryan here from Las Vegas Glamour Boudoir. So I came up with a cheap and easy mod to the Kodak Printomatic that will save you lots of money on wasted zinc paper. The shutter button on this camera is extremely sensitive. The slightest touch will cause it to take a picture and print it. With the price of each print costing about 50 cents, those accidental shots will add up fast. If you currently own this camera, you know what I'm talking about. All you need is a Kodak Printomatic, crazy glue, and a 3 quarter inch or 2 centimeter rubber washer. These are for supply line connections to water heaters and fit perfectly. You may also want to use a piece of fine sandpaper. However, if you want to save even more money on zinc paper, you will need some clear epoxy, a 52 to 49 millimeter step down adapter ring, and a 49 millimeter lens hood. Mine included the fitted lens cap. Link to the items are in the description. If you want to be extra special, you can add a cold shoe mount adapter and a LED video light. I already own these and had extra, so I thought, why not? First, you will want to sand around the shutter button and one side of the washer. This will make the surface not as smooth and let the crazy glue bond better. Warning, a very big warning. You will only need a few drops of crazy glue to make the rubber washer stick and make sure to place them near the outside of the ring, away from the crack around the shutter button. If you apply too much glue or you're too close to the crack, the glue will get inside of your shutter button and it will not work. Just remember that the glue will spread when pressure is applied, so be careful. If you're wanting to add the lens hood, the 52 to 49 millimeter step down ring will not be a perfect fit. It will wobble a little. I use epoxy instead of crazy glue here because it's thicker and doesn't set immediately. Simply apply the epoxy to the entire flat side of the step down ring and a little around the inside edge of it. This will Will allow it for it to seat properly around the lens. Once you are happy with its position, keep the camera flat and let the epoxy dry for 24 hours. Adding the step down ring to your printomatic will also protect the lens from scratches. Adding a lens hood and cover will also save you money on wasted zinc paper. If you hit the shutter with the lens cover on, the camera will know that it's too dark and will not take and print a picture. This will cut down on any accidental photos that you may take. The LED light will give you some fill lighting when the flash isn't needed. Simply crazy glue the cold shoe mount to the center of the printomatic. Just make sure the silver stop is in the front. The crazy glue will bond in seconds. Will you be trying any of these mods on your Kodak printomatic? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear how it turned out. As always, thanks for watching.